the first shower of monsoon those soothing drops of rain on the face those stressed and tired can make your life once again hello everyone welcome to another vlog i wish i could have enjoyed the rain like i used to do in my childhood jumping in the puddles anyways good morning everyone and today i'm going to share a busy day with me my son is having his exam today so here i'm going to prepare his favorite breakfast so let's get started and in today's breakfast i'm going to prepare chili garlic bread for which here i've taken two garlic bread loaves and i'm going to split it just like this and now i'm going to apply some butter over the top and in between the slits that i have made this is a very easy peasy breakfast and it doesn't take much of your time so apply a generous amount of butter in between the slits that i have that you have made and later on we will be filling these slits with the cheese and here i'm going to uh, use goat cheese i have this diced mozzarella cheese blend with me you can use any cheese of your choice fill all the gaps or the slits that I have that you have made this is just like a cheesy pull apart bread so now this is almost ready and here i'm sprinkling some pizza spice mix over the top you can top up with some oregano or any other herb that you have and yes now it is ready to pop it pop up into the oven for around 8 to 10 minutes and this will hardly take 8 to 10 minutes at 220 degrees centigrade and yes our cheesy pull apart garlic sticks or bread you can see is ready enjoy it with your favorite drink like smoothies coffee or So here my son is having his exam after having the having the breakfast he is busy with his exam and that's my daughter busy with her, with her class and yes let's move on to our lunch and now i'll be preparing lunch and the meantime kids are busy with their classes i utilize this time for making lunch and dinner with some snack recipe that i'm going to show with you what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us In today's lunch I'm going to prepare brinjal curry so for which here I've taken some ginger and garlic pieces I'm going to crush it with the help of the mortar pestle and here I'm going to chop two medium sized onions into thinly sliced pieces So our chopping is done and on the other hand I have cut potato and brinjals. I have removed the skin of brinjals or else my kids will get to know that they are eating brinjals. I have just removed the 
peel. So here into my pressure pan, here goes cumin along with the chopped onion and one green chilli. Now saute it for 3 to 4 minutes till they turn into translucent colour. So they are almost done and now I will be adding chopped tomatoes. I have taken two tomatoes and I have roughly chopped them. Just for, sorted them for two minutes and now is the perfect time to add our freshly ground ginger garlic paste. And yes, I have also added some salt just to fasten up the cooking process. So here goes ginger garlic paste, now give it a quick mix and here goes the routine spices like turmeric powder, coriander powder, some garam masala powder and now along with some Kashmiri red chilli powder. And yes, here is the secret ingredient which is dried fenugreek leaves that is kasuri methi. Now just cook it for a few seconds and Add little water so that the spices doesn't burn and now I'll be adding our chopped potatoes and brinjals that is eggplant, bangan, and guys just give this recipe a try I'm pretty sure you are definitely going to love it. The kids will never get to know that they are eating brinjals. My kids just love this recipe. Now give it a good mix and add little bit of water, just half cup of water and close the lid and let it pressure cook for two whistles and or Delicious mouth watering brinjal curry is ready. Now just top up with some coriander leaves, this will further enhance its flavor. And yes, I still have half an hour left with me, and I'll be preparing my dinner in which I'm going to prepare lobia curry. And yes, I'm going to need some flour as well for the chapatis. So let me quickly knead the dough and here I'm going to do multitasking. On the other hand, I'm going to prepare some snack, just like uh, some sweet dessert for my kids. I'm going to prepare whole wheat atta parfi for my kids. And on the other hand, I'll be preparing lobia masala into my electric pressure cooker that I have recently bought. This is Geek Electric Pressure Cooker. And this has really helped me in the kitchen such a hot humid weather it's very hard to stand and do work your daily household chores into the kitchen so let's start with the whole wheat atta burfi so for which here I have taken one cup of whole wheat and three fourth cup of clarified butter that is desi ghee so now we need to roast it on medium to low heat till it becomes brownish in color and it gives a very nice aroma roasted for aroma and this is almost done it will turn into reddish brown color which indicates that it is done So here as you can see the color has changed and it is done and now I will be adding some milk powder. So here goes half cup of milk powder and half cup of powdered sugar. Now give it a good mix and just remember to switch off the flame at this moment or else the sugar will release water and yes if you find your mixture little dry you can add two to three more teaspoons of clarified butter that is basically 
and yes here I'm using potato masher to mix all the ingredients very well and on the other hand I have a pan with me and I'm going to line it with a butter paper and I will pour this hot mixture into it and let it sit for a while and later on I will cut it into cubes and you can have it with your tea, milk or coffee in the evening as a snack and kids just just love it my kids love it and I hope you and your family would definitely love this recipe. Just press it with the help of a spatula and let it sit for a while and later on just cut it and yes we are done. And yes, after a resting period of around 1 hour, I am going to cut it and have it with my green tea. And yes, you can add jaggery powder instead of sugar if you want to make it little more healthier. But for kids, this is okay. You need not have to worry. And yes, here I am going to cook lobia masala into my electric pressure cooker so for each hair I have pressed the saute button and I've just added two teaspoons of oil along with some cumin seeds and I'm going to add two medium sized thinly chopped onions they'll hardly take one or two minutes to cook this cooker has really made my life simple quick and Now here goes little bit of salt to just fasten up the cooking process and yes they have turned into a very beautiful golden color and now I am adding the puree of tomato, ginger and garlic that I have made. So here goes ginger, garlic and tomato puree. Here it goes and this will further take 2 minutes. I have also added some water, just 2-3 to three teaspoons of water, that's it. So our masala is almost done and now I will be adding our routine spices. Start with turmeric powder, some coriander powder, some asafoetida that, that is hing along with some kasuri methi. Give it a quick mix. Some garam masala. We are done with the masala. Just make sure it doesn't burn. And now I'll be adding our overnight soaked lobia, that is white kidney beans, or rongi. So just saute it for a while and add some water. I always keep the ratio of one is to four. my pulses like if I have taken one bowl of pulses I will be adding four bowls of water so here I am selecting the manual option and I will cook it on medium for 15 minutes I have 
selected the manual option. Start. Yes, one, two, three. This is done. Now release the pressure manually if you want to consume it immediately. And yes, our delicious mouth watering lopia masala is ready. The benefit of this cooker is it retains the nutritive value of your pulses or vegetables, whatever you cook in it, it just retains it. Anyone who says sunshine brings happiness has never danced in the rain. So enjoy your monsoons and until my next vlog, stay healthy, take care, stay home. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my video.